Alright guys, I've got a fun new video for you today. This is going to be on my Galaxy Tab 3 7 inch and uh, let me go ahead and show you this. Uh, what we're actually going to show you today how to do, which is very very cool, is basically it's kind of like an update to your ROM even though it's stock because uh, originally right now what this device is on, the Galaxy Tab 3 7 inch, is on Android 4.1.2. And I'm going to show you how to take um, and install this ROM, which is a port of stock 4.2.2. So it's basically going to update your Android version um, and give you some extra features. So I'm going to go through that. I've actually got this already installed, and I'm going to show you some of it. So it's pretty cool. Um, I have done a tiny bit of tweaking, but it is basically stock. So if we go in here and we go into settings, and you scroll down to about device, you can see what we're running, model number SM-T210R, and then right there is Android version 4.2.2, which is Jelly Bean, and that's the updated version. Also, this actually runs off of Blackhawk kernel, um, and, I'll, and I'll give you guys directions for all this, obviously, just like I always do. So it's all stock software, you have to do with a modified kernel, and then this is actually ported over from another device that runs this Android version, but they made it work on the Galaxy Tab 3 7 inch. So very, very cool. I'm super excited about that. And really, the main thing that I'm excited about with that is multi-window. That is the feature that you get with this. So if you pull down your toggles up here on the top, and you've pulled down one finger, it does that, but if you pull down two fingers, you can see all of them. Right there you can see you have multi-window, and you can turn it on and off right here. And we're going to turn it on, and that gives you that little tab on the side, which then gives you multi-window access, which is just super sweet. So if you want to open something up in multi-window, you can just tap it, and there you go. It opens up whatever application. But if you want to open up another application, you can then take and drag it, and now you have multi-window split screen on your device, which is very, very slick um, and very, very cool that... It has this functionality. You can even come up here where the bar is that divides them and make one a little bigger. Or you can do the same thing here. If we grab it, grab it again, we can make this one bigger. And and so on. So there's some fun little functionality with it. I'm really glad that they updated this. Um, I, I, all the credit goes to developers on this and I will have links to it. The XDA post where the developers who ported this thing over and got this multi-window functioning for us and updated the Android version for us, which is just super cool. Um, so let me just go over two things you're going to need or a couple things you're going to need before you can get this running for yourself. Obviously you got to be on the Galaxy Tab uh, 3 7 inch. You're going to need to have some kind of recovery system already installed. Uh, I recommend Torp Recovery. If you don't know how to do that, I have videos on everything on this device. So anything you see me do, I have videos on. Trust me, it's, it shouldn't be hard for you to figure out. Watch those videos. Um, so you're going to need a custom recovery installed. Pretty much your only prerequisite. You can be on stock. You could be on a custom ROM, whatever. You just gotta have that done. Then you gotta download two files. So let me show them to you. So you're gonna have to download this file right here, which is the zip right there. I won't open it, but it's right there. It's it's actually a port from the T110, and they port over that device's operating system to our operating system, to our device. So, and then you need this little zip um, kernel which is right there which basically is the Blackhawk kernel I'll have below but it might be modified so just make sure you do the right one and, and you'll see it in the install as we go through this so that's all you gotta have to get these new features with multi window on the side which is very very cool and you can actually edit it and add more applications or if you get root access on your device you can also get um, multi window manager and then you can put any application in your multi-window launcher, which is very awesome as well. So that all being said, um, let's go ahead and reboot this thing into recovery and show you how to set this up. So to do that, we're going to power off the device. Turn it off. And what I like to do, once this thing down, powers off, we're going to get in the old-fashioned manual way. So you're going to hold your home button. You're going to hold your volume up button. And then you're going to hold your power button and as soon as you see that you can let go of power keep holding home and volume up 
and this should boot you into Team Win Recovery Project. When you see that screen, go ahead and let go. And that's the good old fashioned manual way to get in here. So first thing you wanna do before you flash this is go ahead and make an Android backup. So you'd go to backups and you'd swipe across and create an Android backup. I'm not gonna do that because I have a couple backups here I can always restore to in the restore. So I don't need to do it right now, but definitely do that in case you have a bad download or something goes wrong in your process. You can always do that same button combination we just did to get into recovery if you're stuck in a boot loop. Get into recovery, restore your backup, and you'll be back and running in case something goes wrong. So always prerequisite, definitely do that. Next you're going to go to wipes, and you're just going to go ahead and swipe across here. Um, I'm actually not going to wipe this because I kind of have a couple things set up on this ROM already that I want to leave. Um, but you definitely want to swipe across. It's going to factory reset your device. You're going to lose all your apps, all your data. Everything's going to get wiped off. you got to do that to get this uh, ROM installed correctly. And then you're just going to go to installs and find where your two downloads are. So right here is the one that says T110 on T210R stable zip. And you're going to select it. And then you're going to actually click here and it says add. And you want to then put this in. It says Light Transformer Test 5 T210 Zip. And that is the kernel. Select it. It's listed. Now you should say two files of 10. And just go ahead and flash them. Now what this is going to do is it's going to flash the ROM. And it's going to flash the kernel. And you'll basically be running this new Android 4.2.2. Plus you will be running um, basically Blackhawk kernel is basically what it is. Um, so very, very cool. Uh, it did take me a long time to find that I needed to flash that kernel. I was reading through the thread on XD and you'll see it um, that didn't really have instructions for flashing and I had to kind of decipher through it a couple times. I was just stepping right over that you need to flash a custom kernel with this thing. So I'll give you links to both these files um, as well as actually the XDA post. Those guys are great. They did the uh, get all the credit for this, um, putting this new port together for this device and giving this multi-window which is just really sweet. I like that we're getting some, at least some updates, even if it isn't from Samsung. So we're gonna let this thing flash. It's not gonna take too long, and then we will uh, boot it up. If your screen does turn off, um, just so you guys know, if the screen turns off, you can just tap the power button one time while you're in recovery, and it brings up this, which is like almost like a lock screen on a normal phone, and you just swipe across, and it'll you know get back to the flashing process um, so don't be worried if the screen turns off in recovery, just tap the power button once, it'll come back on, unlock it, and you'll be back seeing what's going on in your device. Um, might freak out a newbie on it if that happens to them, but not a real big deal. Same thing if you're taking and doing an Android backup, just be aware of that. Alright, so ROM installed, the uh, kernel is installed, very simple, that's it. You're good to go, so go ahead and hit reboot system. See if I can get it to go here. Sometimes this button there goes. All right, perfect. So we'll spin it around. And you should see, now this first boot up is going to take, oh, I don't know. You gotta rewrite write everything, get everything kind of set up on it, and it's probably gonna take you up to, it could take you up to 10 minutes. So just be aware of that. It shouldn't, probably tops five. If it takes you more than 10, obviously you got something wrong with your device. Um, something's not jiving correctly, so you definitely gonna need to get back into recovery with those button keys um, and then restore your Nandra backup. So mine booted really fast because I didn't actually do a wipe. I just reflashed the ROM and the kernel. Uh, that's why mine looks like it booted up like instantly. And I still have my applications. I downloaded these three applications. But basically, besides that, I'd also wanna just add is that this is what it comes with in the ROM minus those three applications right there. So it's very much stripped down um, if you want anything more than that, you obviously just download it from Google Play because you have Google Play, so not a big deal. And then you got some widgets, and there isn't much here either. It's very, very stripped down ROM. It does run very smoothly and fastly, and I'm definitely digging it. So I hope you guys like this little uh, ROM update here on the Galaxy Tab 3. This is what I'm going to be running for a while until they get something better. This is really sweet, and uh, that's pretty much it. So Android 4.2.2 on the Galaxy Tab 3 7-inch. Talk to you guys later. Root Junkie, out.